wedding ceremony in rural Nepal. Well attended. Traditional. Elaborate. Just like any other wedding in this part of the world. The bride and groom, however, not quite the legal marrying age of 20. This is Pulindra, 17 at the time of this wedding, his wedding. His bride, Neelam, was 16 years old. This wedding ceremony, the first time the two met. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this edition of Assignment Asia. I'm Barnaby Lo in Nepal, where nearly four out of ten girls married before the age of 20. The average, 15. But there are brides as young as nine. And in certain regions here, it's considered normal practice. Bulindra and Neelam had been married only a month when we met them. Not married in the legal sense because they're not of age. But in more impoverished and remote communities where they live, a legal contract isn't as important as the community's approval. That they have. Uh, Acting every bit like the man of the house, Bulindra welcomed me to their home. Very nice to meet you. Namaste. Namaste. Neelam kept herself mostly out of our sight. But it was a big day for her. They were getting ready to visit her parents. Neelam's first homecoming since she got married. Within an hour of arriving at her parents' store, Neelam appeared to slip a little bit back into her comfort zone. After leaving them alone for a while, we found Neelam and her husband, Bulindra, on their mobile phone. Typical of any teenager in any part of the world. How's married life so far? And yet, a married life at a young age didn't seem to be what they had in mind. What are your plans as a married couple? But they both say it's their fate. Marriages under the legal age of 20, or what's commonly referred to as child marriages, aren't unusual in Nepal. In the region, it is the norm rather than the exception. 
Neelam's parents, Druba Sa and Sita Devi, were both teenagers when they got married. Let's say you have the power to turn back time. Would you still marry at the age that you married your husband? Or knowing what you know now, would you wait? Do you think that maybe uh, she's being deprived of other opportunities in life? As farmers, whatever they could give wasn't much. So they married Neelam off young and undereducated. Dowry, in terms of cash and gifts, from the bride to the groom's family, is deeply ingrained in their culture. Munilal Baita runs Ashman Nepal, a child rights organization dedicated to eradicating the practice of child marriage in Nepal. More uh, education, more dowry, no education, no dowry. Um, that's why if you uh, educate the girls more, they need to uh, explore the highly educated boys. And the, the, if the boys is highly educated, then pay the more dowry, high amount of dowry. Okay. Because the one thing is also uh, major causes, causes of the child marriage is dowry system. So then that means that this practice is more rampant among poor families. Mm, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. If you go in, the, if you go and visit the uh, two, three kinds of uh, family that is poor, moderate, and a uh, little bit high air level, then you can get easily the child marriage is happening in the poor communities. More than half of girls in rural communities are likely to be married as children. And those who belong to the richest households in Nepal, the least likely, according to the United Nations Children's Fund or UNICEF. Engaging in child marriage isn't without legal consequences in Nepal, but Bunilal says local officials often turn a blind eye. Law has uh, guaranteed to the uh, prison and punishment, penalized also. But the, uh, in front of the uh, government officials, local level, central level, um, lawmakers, they are, um, they are attending that marriage ceremony also. No one objected to the marriage of Frida Sa's only child, Roshani Ram, at 13. A year later, she was pregnant. At 15, she was gone. Roshani died of childbirth complications. 
अब हम कैसे वे ना कहत दे खाली बच्चा हो गए अब कैन कहना कहाँ से गोड़ो वोड़ो ना फूल रहे खूब देह तगड़ा रहे निमर बुखारो कहो ना लगत रहे कहो ओठो ना सुखत रहे बच्चा हो गए तो कह कि माई बलू कथी ने ढूगल का पेट में लाल है कथी ने बलू ढूगल पेट में पेट फाटत पेट फाटत पेट फाटत ऐसे ले चलते हैं अस्पताल में अब वो तो अस्पताल से पानी चढ़ा ले ले, ले जाते रहने से का जन के हो गल का कोई नहीं खे दुनिया Nepal's healthcare services, especially in far-flung areas, are far from being top-notch. But at the same time, the fact is, teenage pregnancy and childbirth complications are the leading cause of death for girls 15 to 19 years old globally. The risks to their infants, such as low birth weight and preterm delivery, are higher as well. Roshani's mother, Rita, has had several miscarriages herself. After surviving a difficult first pregnancy at a young age, she couldn't bear any more children. Her husband, Sohan, wanted a second wife. Rita agreed, but on one condition. Roshani had to be married off first. Um, bacha mar mar jai no? पटी बाजार हों से कि एक बेटा नहीं कह के बोलो निर्वंश बन निर्वंश बा तो बहुत तकलीफ लगे मन में तो हम कह रही हम शादी कर बेटा उटा हो जाए तो ठीक रह अथी बा शादी कर लम कि पहले बबी के शादी कह दी कि कोई हँसी ना कि रे बेटी बढ़ले बिया पर शादी कर लेलक तो वो मारे बबी के शादी कर दी फटाक से तो हम शादी करम तो हम कहीं कि अपन शादी करम तो हम बबी के बिया कह दी अपना घर चल जाए तो अपने बिया कह लम तो हमारा नन चिंता रही जाए बबी के बिहार को अब होई क्या ना होई वो के चलते हम शादी का कोनी की क्वादी शादी हम राय लेनी जो शादी क्वादी सोहन डिडन्ट फॉलो थ्रू विद इस प्लान हाउएवर इन फैक्ट ही सेस ही डजन्ट वांट टू मैरी अनदर वुमन एवर द रीजन this baby, Roshani's orphan, his granddaughter. She lives with her father, who remarried. But Sohan is helping to raise the child with her father's family, a second chance he's grateful for. हमने हमरा कहना होता है जितना बेटी के निकट से प्यार कर ले दुलार कर ले न उतना नाती के दुलार दुलार करे उसे बेशी और हाँ पर हाँ सब चीज करे मुकरा के रीडा वास क्लियरली स्टिल ग्रीविंग द लॉस ऑफ हर ओनली चाइल्ड बट शी एंड हर हस्बैंड एग्री ऑन वन थिंग दे मेड अ मिस्टेक शादी का राम सुनता बच्चवा कहता तो जवान हो तो हम तो बुढ़ा जाम सब बचवा जवान हो तो हम बुढ़ा जाम सब बीस बाईस बरस पर हम सन लिखा हम सन खूब बढ़िया से उम्र पुग जाए तब शादी कर अब जब हम से गलती भैल अब वो सब गलती ना हो अब सुधार लिया हम सन पर इट्स अ पेनफुल लाइफ लेसन one that Sohan and Rita wouldn't wish on the rest of their community. But one they wish people around them can learn from. Next, we meet a group of young Nepalese women who are breaking the chains of tradition. One child at a time.
the practice of child marriage in Nepal may be more rampant in indigenous communities and in areas where education is relatively inaccessible. But if you look deep enough, it exists in many pockets of the country and in a rising number of cases. What drives early marriage isn't tradition or societal pressure, but love. Dev and Kumari Tama, who were both under the age of 18 at the time of their wedding, met each other while working at a carpet factory in the capital Kathmandu. What made you fall in love with him? Mm -hmm. And what did you like about her? Why did you decide to get married just after one year of meeting each other? Did your parents know about your marriage? Do they know now? So they're okay with it? They're okay with you being married at 17, 16? So. We spoke with them in a neighbor's apartment, but they live and work in the same carpet factory where they met. Only now, they have a 10-month-old to raise. The owner of the factory had restricted our movement, but we managed to follow them to a room where we were told right. they were living. No, no, okay. It was dark, hot, and cramped. It was no place to raise a child, and the factory just behind the room, not the most ideal workplace. Dev and Kumari are made to work up to 16 hours a day, every day of the week. Despite all that, there is a sense of acceptance that isn't unlike what we saw in rural Nepal. So do you have any regrets? If you can turn back time, for instance, would you maybe have waited a little longer? You're happy? Anti-child marriage advocates say the single biggest barrier to advancing their cause has been the state of education in Nepal, especially for girls. While enrollment has increased almost 100% in the primary level over the past 20 years, education department figures show more than 80% of girls drop out by the time they reach 11th grade or before they turn 18. Our organization is uh, focusing on education because we are, um, are trying to make the people aware. Education is the only one key to open the every uh, problem uh, like lock. Uh, that's why we are um, uh, trying to educate the people and we are uh, also trying to uh, uh, convince the parents uh, to send their children in school. To encourage parents to keep sending their daughters to school, Munila's organization relies on volunteers. The volunteers, young, school-aged girls who call themselves big sisters. Sujata Dubek leads a pack of big sisters in his town off the Nepali city of Burgunj. Tell me about this, what you do, uh, this little sister, big sister thing that you do. Just the little sister who home visit Gorni. Just the home visit Gorda Kerry, little sister who be Dalema or Oni Gorma Costa Paracel Dirakasa, two home visit Gorni. Oni two points and a day, Ganko Somasa, Gauli, Atwa, Amabuli, Porno, Janudino, no be Dalema, to convince Gorni, be Dalin Yemid Garoni, to Kalaise, big sister Lakam Gorsa. Why do you do this? To carry on a child marriage, to board 
तो शरीर पर पकोना भाई सके पची ती बीए भून से अथवा बच्चा जन्मिन सब बने कितने में तो बॉडी पूरी बिगड़ी आल सा त्यो भाई रह के सा मिसानी मेरे में बच्चा जन्म से बने ना तो आते हो आपने छोरा छोरी जी हूँ जा ना तो तेरे को लाइफ राम रहूँ ना सकता ना तो त्यो केटी को पसी करे कि राम तू रोग लागना Sujata says she has been branded a marriage breaker by neighbors, but she doesn't let insults and criticisms get in the way of her advocacy. Today, she and her fellow big sisters are on a mission. Word goes around fast in their tiny community. So when she heard that a 14-year-old girl had stopped going to school, Sujata was determined to do something. Do you fear that uh, she might be married off soon? Their goal is to talk to the mother and convince her to send her daughter back to school. We follow them to their destination and witness Suchata and her fellow advocates at work. There's plenty of discussion, it seems. Hard to tell whether Suchata is making any progress. After about an hour, though, Sujata and the girls eventually part ways with the 14-year-old and her mother. Turns out the problem was no different from what we've already been seeing and hearing over and over again. Yeah. I saw you kind of arguing with each other. Was that hard? Was it hard to negotiate and to kind of convince the mother? But it's not always separateless, if you can even call an hour-long conversation that. More often than not, though, Sujata says a little help and encouragement works. In the end, Sujata offered to shoulder a portion of school fees. That was what sealed the deal. So we are working in the um, lowest class. Low, low status. Um, yeah. yeah. The That's why uh, yeah, uneducated, yeah. Uh, unsensitized person. Because that is not their. Uh, uh, fault to be uh, uh, uneducated, mm -hmm. that the system uh, fault, that the system um, system fault to not educate them. That's why we are uh, trying to uh, trying to educate there. And I imagine it's hard to find tradition because mm -hmm. tradition mm -hmm. is shaped yeah, yeah. through mm -hmm. hundreds, if not thousands of thousands, years. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I mean, how do you break that tradition? Uh, it, it's uh, difficult uh, to break, it takes time, but only education can break that um, um, problem. Twenty-year-old Nirukumari Das's family understands this. Niru is a granddaughter of a respected village leader, 
and is one of only a handful of young girls from her village to have the privilege of attending college. She's studying to become a teacher. So when do you want to get married? She would be the first woman in her family to be able to do so. Niru comes from a village where an unmarried girl her age is more the exception rather than the rule. Despite their family's social status, her parents started their life together when they were only 12. Were there any problems in terms of the marriage of your parents, let's say, or your grandparents because they married early? <laughs> Her parents may not be able to afford to send all their children to college, but Niu says they recognize the value of education, and it shows. What do you think about that? What do you think about uh, child marriage? In a tight-knit community, Niru could be the catalyst that's needed for a change. Change, though, has been gradual in Nepal. Even though the government has vowed to end child marriages by 2030. Eliminating child marriage isn't just a matter of changing laws, as Nepal's case has proven. It is as much a cultural as it is a legal issue. So it isn't going to happen overnight. Advocates are taking it one family and one village at a time. I'm Barnaby Lowe. Thanks for watching and join us again on Assignment Asia. Share your thoughts and contribute story ideas for future shows by contacting us on social media.